Okay, so last time we have looked at the basics on the solar panels and the difference between them, but yeah, there's more to it. So we're going to dive a bit deeper inside the panels. Uh, just for the reason because I did the video on this on the on the shading so let's get to it uh, because of the diodes I also had the comment I will post it up here which is correct but uh, then also I'm gonna add something from from the manufacturers avoid shading even minor partial shading as this deposits reduces yields the module can be considered to be unshaded if the entire surface is free from shading all year round, sunshine should be able to reach the module even in the shortest day of the year. Constant shading conditions can affect module service lifetime due to acceler accelerated aging of the encapsulation materials and thermal stress on the bypass diodes. So yeah, what does a diode do? A diode prevents reverse current basically. So the flow will be like that, then it will open. It's like a non-return valve on a on the water, basically. You can think about that. The power comes from the other side uh, on the reverse current. Then suddenly this will block it. So this is the sign for it. And you can go, go and have a look how many diodes is in your panels. Go to the manual that says normally there. Most of them are three. Uh, the basics on it. So what will basically happen, it will go from, the flow of the current will go from positive to negative. So uh, normally the power will come in and it will go through. If everything is fine, it will just run through without going really through the, through the diode. So, but as soon as there's something faulty or if there's shading, then these diodes do get involved. So normally it will just flow like that from the one side to the other side in and out and that's where it will work so no problem with that um, and it will just go to your MPPT or your inverter so what we're going to quickly have a look at each cell is one zero, they all differ about 0 0.5 volts to 0 0.6 volts depends how big your solar cell is depends that's your amps that will be from that but we're going to look at the volts and i made it simple 0 0.5 so you will see as soon as the current comes in it will go up 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 down 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 on your first string so the first would be 20 0 0.5s and that will go to 12.5 and there's the diode no problems in it it will go through then the next string will go up 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 from 13 it will go to 24.5 and then the diode's happy doesn't have to work and then it will go to the next string these this is an example of the three uh, three diodes lots of panels have them in so that's the basics how it works so the diode's happy no problem the current will just flow from from the source to the load no problem so let's take for example if we do the next one um, so here's the panel and suddenly we get shading so what will happen during this thing then these diodes get involved could be shading could be a broken panel could be damaged uh, cell anything that will pull the voltage down like in the old days because your panels most probably are in series and then then they will stay the same as the baddest one but yeah uh, optimizers also the same thing but this is basically what will happen the shading comes in and that is how the current's going to flow but let's just look at the voltage so the first one there the voltage is fine it will just run through and the die doesn't open uh, so then the second one it just runs and then it get to a point 24.5 volts diet is happy then the next one and then it suddenly it's the, the shading and then it drops so then your output would be four volts but luckily the diet's there so what will happen the diet will kick in so you're at least at this panel you will get this is not exactly this is not 
a class, but that's just to give you an indication what will happen. And then from there on, at least your other panels will produce, so your your voltages will not drop as much, and you will still have current on your um, on your strings. So this is how it will flow all the way through, and yeah. So let's take the next scenario. So the shading goes over two of those strings. Um, what will happen? The voltages will go up. First one will be happy. Second, no diodes, no problem. Second one will up, oh, eats it, and then it will start getting back again to four volts. And yeah, the third, third one. So this um, diet will kick in. And also, so it goes from 4.5 to each the shade comes back. So at the end of the day, more or less, would have been 4 volts. And luckily now not. At least you get not all the panel, but you get 12.5 on. And because there's no reverse current, no, that's fine. It goes to the next string. So, yeah, next, so this diode will work. And this is the current flow that will go through. So the next one is basically where we get shading all over the panel. And this is not good. But so it will go up, eats it, uh, come again. And now it's in series again. We'll pick up again, try to pick up. But this one needs a diode. We'll go up, up, up. Eats the shading. Oops. Becomes zero again. There's a diode needed. Next one will go uh, okay let's go back okay at the end of the day problem is there um, and we the, that diet will also kick in and that will be the flow of the currents so this is basically what they look like and that's why the manufacturers really in all the installation manuals you can go and have a look really ask you not to to avoid shading because these diodes will handle a lot of stress unnecessary you've got a design life of 20 25 years so if you don't look after it they won't last and you might end up with it and also if they damage that can cause other problems as well risks involved you won't really know when it's happening so yes look after it avoid shading clean your panels as they say as well just just by the normal dust that's why they want you to clean your panels as well. So yeah, hope it helps.